Hello, in this tutorial series we're learning to sculpt and create game assets. In this particular episode we're looking at baking out our finished textures so they're ready for a game engine and we're going to be quickly taking our object and textures across into Unity. So here's our finished plank of wood and just quickly someone was commenting that the normal map isn't that great because the topology is so bad. I don't think it's too bad. Yes, if you zoom in, you can see sharp edges in places like here, but uh, that's very zoomed in. But if you do a better retopo, if I go into edit mode quickly, uh, where you round off edges and you retopology properly, then that wouldn't happen. But I was just showing the quickest way of retopologizing, in my opinion. And I think this should be fine because it's probably going to be viewed from about this distance and it all looks pretty good. So our textures are all ready. I'll just take this out of rendered mode with Shift Z and I'm going to make the screen a bit bigger because we're going to be using the node editor. I'm going to change this one to the UV image editor and I want to get all this information into one map. We don't have to worry about the normal map because that's just going straight into the normals and that's the same in Unity. But we can't take all these and mess around like this so easily. It's far easier just to bake this out into one texture map that we put into the color or the albedo slot in our textures in Unity, which is why I need to create a new texture. We'll call this wood plank for baked color. And this one's worth being 2048 by 2048. We don't need the alpha channel. And this is where all this information is going to be baked to. So I press OK. Now obviously we want to do this in cycles because that's how our nodes are set up and that's where our text is set up. So I'm going to go down to the bake panel, down at the bottom here, and change this to diffuse. Now we don't want any lighting to influence it, we just want purely this color information. So we untick direct and indirect. We're not doing selected to active, it's just baking to itself, so we don't have to tick anything like that, we don't need anything else selected. The only thing that's different in cycles is it doesn't know where I'm baking at the moment. I may have this new image ready in the UV image editor, but Cycles wants me to select an image in the node editor to let it know where I'm baking. So I need an image texture like one of these, and I want this one to appear in the node editor. So I press Shift A, Texture, Image Texture, and just put that up there. You don't have to hook it up to anything. And I'm going to open the wood plank for baked color. So that's this texture here. It's selected, so it knows to bake to that. So it's gonna bake the diffuse information, this color information, onto here, because it's selected. Let's press bake, and there's our baked color information. Do remember to save your image, so save as image, wood plank for baked color. So we've got our normal map here, and our wood plank baked color ready for Unity, or any other game engine. It's worth bearing in mind that if you have any problems with this, which I have had on other machines, you can change this principal shader to just a diffuse node, so Shift A, Shader Diffuse, and hook that up like that, which if we look at it, is pretty much the same, it just hasn't got the normal map in, and it will come out exactly the same, but occasionally I've had problems through the principal shader, I've done that, and it's been fine. The other thing worth bearing in mind is that the device settings, if you use GPU, it will go faster. Often though, CPU is slightly more stable. So there's a couple of things you can change if you have any issues. So I'll put those back where they were and delete the diffuse. And you'll notice if I plug this straight into the color, if you watch on the bottom left, you'll notice the image doesn't change at all because this is exactly the same as all this. So we've baked out our information. Lastly, all I need to do is go back to object mode have our object selected, and then we can export it. So file, export, and FBX. I know OBJ works as well. From the small amount of research I've done, FBX sounds like the most compatible. So just choose FBX, and just make sure that you've got selected objects only, so it doesn't export the other things as well. And I'm gonna call it Wood Plank 4, and press export. Now across into Unity, here's my assets folder. And I need to bring my assets into here, so let's right click in there, import new asset, and I want to find my plank, wooden plank 4, I know that's an FBX file, import. So if I drag that in, 
It's got no materials at the moment, so it just looks pretty normal. And it's brought in my Wood Plank 4C materials, but no textures are hooked up because Cycles and Unity use are slightly different. So we have to bring our textures in. So in my materials, I may as well right click in here, import new asset, and I need to bring in my normals, which are here, and my baked color. So Wood Plank 4, normals and color. And there they are. So I click on my material again, click and drag my wood plank normals into the normal map. And coming from Blender, it will say this texture is not marked as a normal map. Just fix now, we'll do fine. And there we go, we've got our normals working. And lastly, click on the material again and drag our albedo into our color into our albedo, like so. And it's a bit shiny, so we can just bring the roughness down, which is, in this case is smoothness. And we've got our plank of wood ready in Unity. And we can make lots of planks of wood now into some sort of simple bridge or something. So there we go, that's the whole series. For this final piece, the, the posts were created in the same way and the plants are from a simple asset pack that I have. I will put all these onto both Sketchfab store and Unity store for a small amount of money, so you can purchase those if you like. Hope you've enjoyed the series. Do post links in the comments to your creations. And thanks for all the feedback, it's been really appreciated. I will produce more tutorial series just like this where we'll move on to different skills and develop these current skills. So look out for those and thanks for watching.